Uh, we're stood here with an up-and-coming actor you've probably never heard of before. Hello, Cuba Gooding Jr. Hi, buddy. Good to see you. Really good. Now, good we, uh, we saw you in the amazing People vs. OJ. I absolutely loved it. What were your concerns when they offered you the role? Were you a bit reluctant to take part in it, or were you straight in there? Yeah, no, straight in there. You know, when Ryan Murphy calls and says he has a role for you, you know, there's going to be real truth in it. And I just trusted his vision. It was one of those things where he wasn't going to focus on the guilty or not guilty of it. He was going to focus on the characters, the interactions with the, law, the defense team and the prosecution, and that whole 1992-94 Los Angeles racial tension, police brutality-esque of it all, and how that influenced that, uh, you know, the final verdict. And, uh, and I thought that that was an amazing way to go into that, that, that story. You must have known when you were making it that it would get a lot of attention and would get a lot... Just a little thank hair in your face. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. I was, I was wondering if you'd do that. Um, yeah, it got a lot of attention. I mean, is, is that something that affects your performance? Because you obviously feel like you have to do real people uh, a, 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 a service. You know, you have to, to portray them properly. Yeah, you almost said two questions. The people knew the story, so that makes you a little tense about it. But more importantly, it's telling the truth of someone that people know. I'm a celebrity, Cuba Gooding Jr., playing a celebrity, uh, uh, OJ. So I knew, people knew his mannerisms, so I had to kind of let that all go and just find the truth of the moment. Because yeah. you're still doing a portrayal. That's right. Of course. Well, have you had a chance, there's lots of people arriving now that the sun's come out, yeah. have you had a chance to see much British television? Because it's been such a fantastic year. I have. Um, you have. I have. What have been some Very standout exciting. moments? Well, you know, I've been a Peaky Blinders fan since the beginning, but I found uh, Broad Church and I found, um, you know, I'm trying to think of some of these shows, you know, I, I binge watch too, like I wait till they all come out either on Netflix or whatever and I watch all of them. So like the, the, the my mind is racing, but what, The Fall I think might have been one? The Fall, of course. Um, uh, Mirror. Black, Black, Black Mirror. Mirror. Charlie oh Brooker, gosh. very good. Yeah. Just really brilliant stuff. I feel oh, like your memory's stuff. going to be jogged by seeing people in there. You're going to be like, you were great. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, uh, lastly, you're presenting an award tonight. You've been on both sides. You've been nominated, you've won, you're also presenting. Quickly tell us, which is more difficult? Oh, when you're nominated, because if you lose, you got to give that. Oh, good for you. You sum them up. You know that look. That's hard. But uh, when you're presenting, you're just speaking off the teleprompter, it's very easy. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. Best of luck. Good night. Nice to meet you. Thank you.